my my waiters are sitting on top of the boat and we've been sitting in line for over an hour to, and they're about to open the beach and I left my waiters sitting on the boat in the garage and I have no waiters and I'm gonna freeze my butt off You're, there's no chance of you coming up this morning are you <laughs> they're all, the guys are all laughing at me they're telling me to go back home and go get them there's a the line to get on the beach right now is like 4th of July the, all the flag parade people are all lined up right now it's crazy. I'm like, do I get out of this line and go back? Or do I? And I, was, I called Mario, he's gonna go to work, but he's already at work. I was gonna ask him to bring him, but I just realized I have no waiters and I, I'm just like dumb awed right now. It's a little too dark, but you guys know, uh, by the thumbnail, by the title of this, um, you'll see it. It's a, it's a thousand dollar setup, guys. But everything was a gift, which is pretty crazy. But we'll go more into detail about that. Hope you guys are good. This is gonna be the first time that we hit the surf in a really long time. So welcome back. Those who love the perch fishing videos, this is gonna be one of them. It's gonna be a catch and cook. Leroy prepared something special. Another thing that's going on right now is there is a line. It's a line about, probably by now, probably about a half a mile long. Seriously, this place has been closed since March and they had an opening date. They canceled that opening date. They kept on doing that over and over, but finally, finally, they're actually gonna open the gate in about two minutes, so we're gonna be on the on the beach here soon. I forgot my waders! <laughs> I am gonna die right now. <laughs> I'm just gonna fish in my jeans, I guess. Yeah. So stupid. Dude. Sorry, Bob. We were just like talking, and then all of a sudden, Bob's like, no! Anyway, guys, let's get to fishing, then we'll cook, but you guys will see this setup. $500 for the rod, $500 for the reel, We'll go in depth. I'll show you guys what that all looks like. Welcome back, guys. Stay tuned. <laughs> let's go, let's go. He's already at the Grand Ramp. He's gonna look in the back of his Jeep and see if he has another pair. And if not, he's gonna go back to his house and get me a pair. Aw, oh, sweet. Dude, he's a man, bro. It feels so good to drive on the sand. Oh, oh, so good. Quick update. We passed a few holes just to see what's all the way down as far as we can drive. Because uh, we want to just make you know, we want to make this a good one. We want to pick a good spot We actually have our friend Rob Leip who uh, is part of the hook to cook family and He's already down here. He's already wet his line So we'll check in with him see how he he's doing so far Bob actually is getting waiters from him He went back home or he might have already had an extra pair of waiters for Bob. So man Hook to cook family coming in clutch right now. Thanks Rob. All right, Leroy just got one. That's a good sign. They're hitting pretty good? Yeah. Oh, like two or three times that's a nice months. one. Yeah, 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 yeah. 14 or something. Yeah. That's a good start. Yeah, it is. I'm happy. Let's go get him, guys. Yeah, feels so good to be back out here. <laughs> and this is going to be a good season. Leroy already got one. We're going to get in the water, but as promised, check out this setup. So let's start with the reel. The reel, if you guys are not new to the channel, you guys have seen this before. It's the Van Stahl VR50. It was a Christmas gift from the Hook to Cook family. Man, so blessed to be able to use this because if you guys have followed the channel once again for a good period of time, you know that this channel kind of is built around the budget setups. Your Okuma Cellulo as well as the Guardian Marathon. Uh, we got that $100 sealed reel by Quantum that uh, we've been testing out, which by the way, that thing is awesome. But today we're just gonna max out the quality. So this is the Van Stahl. It's a sealed reel. You can literally dunk this in, this in the water, bury it in the sand, pick it up, wash it off in the salt water, and it'll still work fine. They use this a lot on the East Coast for striped bass. They'll actually swim out to boiler rocks wearing wetsuits. They'll swim out with this in hand, just fully submerged, and it makes it out, and it's just a workhorse. Look at that huge handle, too. Just amazing. Another nice key that this reel has is when you open the bale, it won't shut. You gotta manually close that bale every time. So that's a nice habit to get into, and then also reduces wind knots. Again, this is $500 retail, and the title of this video is a thousand dollar setup so guess what the rod is 500 bucks so let's show you that rod real quick let me get it i have it protected it was sent 
in this PVC pipe right here. We did do an unveiling on Instagram uh, where the creator himself walked us through what this thing has. This is a custom surf rod by Fish On Customs. This is a 10 foot six all custom rod with an amazing, amazing wrap. Charleston is the guy who made this and he went all out. The detail is just amazing, but enough about it from me. Let's hear what Charleston has to say about this rod that makes it so special. Hi, my name is Charles. I am a owner and rod builder of Fish On Customs. And I wanted to showcase a blank or a rod that we just built um, for Edward, the founder and creator of Hook to Cook uh, Facebook group, YouTube channel, um, and all of the various merchandise that uh, come with it. Um, we wanted to thank you, Edward, for all of the things that you've done, not only for the surf fishing community, but also for our company um, and in collaboration uh, with our company. You know, and essentially we met through uh, Facebook and um, became really good friends um, over time. And uh, we wanted to uh, honor that friendship um, with uh, gifting you this rod um, and some things about it, uh, a couple things about it, is that it's a rain shadow blank that is 10-6, two-piece blank, uh, model number DSS1263-2. It is a moderate fast action, um, six to 12 pound line class. Uh, it's three eighths to three quarters of an ounce lure weight. This is traditionally a, a salmon steelhead rod, which is, as you all know, a favorite style of rod um, or rod blank for West Coast um, surf fishermen. Uh, we built the handle, or I built the handle with uh, EVA cores. So these are both EVA cores. And um, over that is a win overwrap by Win Grips. Um, and this one is in the red and black camo. Uh, this one specifically is the, uh, over, the slim overwrap. And I did that for the rear and foregrip. There's a bulb style butt cap on the end here. Uh, we have a Alps uh, graphite reel seat. Um, the guides are um, forecast VD guides. Um, and they have their stainless steel frames with hard aluminum oxide rings, which is completely braid proof. For the uh, design, the aesthetics part of it, we went ahead and did marbling here. This is two colors of red and white on a black background. Um, and we did that for all of the guides. And then another special thing about this rod um, is these decals. These decals are designed by Thunderbird Design which is a really good friend of ours. You might want to follow them, Thunderbird Design on Instagram. And they went ahead and made these decals. Over here, we have Bard Surf Perch. You've got Halibut and we got Striper over here. Or you're probably wondering why they're so far apart. And the reason for that is because on the bottom, we did some measurements and some tags here. Um, on the bottom, uh, we have the California record for the longest surf perch which is 18 and a half inches. And that spans from this point down to the butt. And also from the butt all up to here is the California surf record for the longest halibut at 34 inches. And lastly, the longest uh, striper from the surf um, is known to be 48 inches. Um, and that's over here. All of them have uh, the marbling design. And I guarantee you, you're not gonna find a rod like this, exactly like this anywhere. That's a, that's a beauty of custom made rods. They can really um, be unique um, and identifiable. You know, if anyone's interested in getting something built um, or um, if you want something kitted for you, if you want us to kind of put together a kit and you want to build it yourself, we also do that. Um, I invite you to visit our website, fishoncustoms.com. On Instagram, it's we got you hooked up. And um, also on Facebook, you'll find us um, at Fish on Customs. Again, we wanted to thank Edward and wish him a very happy birthday. Many, many more years of tight lines and catching big slabs and uh, presenting it to the world um, like that you, the way that you have. Happy birthday, buddy. Man, thank you so much. So today we're gonna test it out, see how it does, but it is a, just a beautiful, beautiful rod. Couldn't think of a better day to be able to test this out than the day that they're opening up our favorite beach that you can drive on it's incredible so guys we're gonna tie on a kalisa we're gonna plug a bit and see if we can't catch a fish just like leroy just did 
but again this is just a great start to the winter perch bite so guys welcome to the channel if you're new let's get on it all right first cast out here real life casting oh yeah okay i like that i like that it looks good too the looks don't matter to the fish but it kind of gives you a little bit of confidence oh leroy's on him i'm gonna go over there looks like mark just hooked up he's throwing a short carolina rig with a piece of gulp sandworm nice a little guy we'll throw him back <laughs> all right so i made one cast so far at like maybe 70 percent power and got it out maybe 25 yards so let's see as i get comfortable i'll start really whipping it but leroy's on another one you got slammed shallow and i should i lost him it was big oh they're, they're here they're they're not out very far okay go <laughs> That is great news, guys. Great news. Let's go. Leroy says not very far. That is a welcome, welcome sound. Oh, the casting. Oh, man. I am pumped. This grip up here is kind of nice, too. Look at that. That is kind of nice. So when I was talking to Charleston about this rod, he was talking about how it's really tip heavy, but that makes the center point closer to this grab handle in terms of balance. So I think I might be using this grab handle a bit. There you go. Oh, I came off. There you go. There you go. Keep tension on him. Keep tension on him. This thing's got decent backbone. But it's still... Oh, that is a decent fish. I'm on the board. Oh man, I feel so good, guys. Feels pretty good. On the new custom. <laughs> wow. There it is. Sick. Sick. There you go. First barred surf perch here in six months. Oh, let's go. Charleston, I am impressed. Very impressed. You wanna throw it? Try it. Huh? Cast like that, you go all day. Yeah. Cause I, you can't do that all day. Yeah. Your shoulder, your arm, yeah. yeah. You just can't do that. This, this is like easy. Yeah, like, Crazy, huh? <laughs> dude, like, it's like super light. Like, like, yeah. I'm, dude, that's like so easy to cast. You go like all day like that. Just, Serious. Like, just rips it out there. Like yeah. no effort. None. Like zero. Compared to this. But I, mean, this, I thought this was pretty cool. Yeah. I kind of like actually try it. You could feel that really good though. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm kind of feeling it. But that's like ease. Really yeah. Easy. The definition of. Awesome. Here, try it. Try it. No problem bringing a striper in? I don't know. What'd you think? Oh, I like it. it Cast it a long ways, man. That's nice. It's a little flimsy, but it's got backbone right here. What'd you think? What'd you think? What'd you give it? Like, did you give it 70% right now? 60%? Oh, I didn't even give that. Yeah. Okay. You just lobbed it. I just lobbed it. I just put a little bit of a, uh, you know, I loaded up the rod a little bit, but I didn't, yeah, you saw how I cast it. I just cast it like this. <laughs> you got probably like 
30 yards on that one? I didn't Maybe? Even, I didn't even try. Well, it was more than that. It was like more like 40 yards. <laughs> 35 at least. Yeah, I didn't even try casting that dude. Wow. Now I'm gonna now I'm gonna try casting. Alright. Wow, I didn't even see where it went. <laughs> <laughs> It went, it went a good way. 40, yeah. 50 yards. 45. Wow. This will, this will cast the police a pretty damn good. Yeah. Can't wait for striper season. I might have to get one of these, man. It's crazy. I might have to get one of these. Get one that says Papa Leroy. That's right. Oh yeah. Yeah, right? And it's it's not gonna fatigue you. That's no, what that's what no, Jason was it's saying. It's not heavy. Oh my rod is shorter and it's heavier than that. Yeah. This rod is a lot heavier than that one. Yeah, I'd probably buy one of those. It's nice. What's the plan today, Leroy? Oh, uh, we're gonna do a little bit of uh, we're gonna do a little bit of perch teriyaki. We're gonna start a little fire, some coals. We're gonna flay up some perch, and we're gonna cook them with a little bit of teriyaki sauce. We got a little bit of rice. We got uh, some Hawaiian mac salad. Actually, it's potato mac salad. I made that last night. So. so we're gonna have us a little feast, almost like a little Hawaiian, Hawaiian feast. Oh, and I have some smoked trout. Oh, and you got some bluefin tuna. Oh. <laughs> is that bluefin? Yes, it is. Oh man, we got a grill to do the bluefin that is provided by Mr. Le Leip. Leip, you gotta say it right. And then uh, everyone's just hanging out. It's good stuff. Oh, only three. That's all. But it's a good size. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What was the process on this perch? Uh, it's just cook it right now and then I'll baste it with teriyaki sauce that I made last night. You put it in the basket, you put some Pam on there? Yeah, put a little bit of Pam so it won't stick. And then uh, we cook it till it's, you know, as we're cooking it, we'll baste it. So the, the sauce will kind of adhere to the meat so we'll have teriyaki. So you simmer what? What's in there? Uh, it's got sugar. It's got mirin. Um, soy sauce, of course. It's got a little bit of sake, and that's it. And then you reduce it. I don't want to ruin it, but all right. Oh, wonderful! Oh man. Okay. 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 Yeah. The awesome. catch and cook on the beach is pretty epic, and you know, not to have one in beach. seven, eight months, it's a little heartbreaking. One so it feels good to be back on the beach. It's nice. Get the truck on the, get this little sand on the truck is always good. So, uh, how was the fishing today? It was all right. I, nothing really big, you know. Caught, it wasn't a, like a, like, you know, stand behind a tree, bait your hook type bite. You know, because you caught one here and then 20 casts later you get another bite. But it's still fun. It's been a long time since we've been out here. It's a beautiful day. I mean, you couldn't ask for any beautiful day than this. And I did have something on huge. Don't know what it was. It got away. Could have been a ray. Could have been a big striper. I don't know. Could have been a big halibut. But it started peeling drag. So yeah, some reason everything that well, Leroy caught a bunch. He landed a bunch, and uh, that's what I think. I, I have this theory that when you are going for distance, you're going to sacrifice a little bit of that hook setting power. My hooks were actually really sharp, but I missed probably six fish total today. Uh, landed that one, but. I feel like, yeah, you need that flex to be able to send that lure out there. We were getting, shoot, you, you casted it a few times, close to 40 yards, and then on a really, really good one, you're probably going to get 50, 60 yards. That's a, that's a heck of a rod right there, but with the flex in the rod, you lose that hook set power, that fast action that was on Leroy's rod and um, on Jason's rod, that's going to be uh, the hook set right there, so um, you sacrifice a little bit of that, but to have that distance, if we're gonna do like striped bass fishing or something that's gonna inhale that bait. Man, I'd rather actually maybe have the distance um, in that case. So that's just my take on it. But that rod, that rod was real nice. But it is a nice rod. Yeah, yeah it, it is a really nice rod. I might have to talk the wife into, you know, maybe get one. Yeah, yeah. Are you gonna get it the hooked up? So, so this thing, this uh, it, it ranges probably from like 300 to 500 bucks. But if you want like all the artwork and all the time spent on it, it's gonna be around the 500 dollar price point. Um, but 
What do you think? Are you, are you gonna get it all decked out? Oh yeah, might as well. Have my name on it, Papa Leroy. Yeah. yeah, have like little decorations on it, might as well. You know, you only live once, so you might as well treat yourself. You know, you know? So, I can't yeah. wait to get one. But at the end of the day, your boy only caught one, brought one in, missed a bunch, so. <laughs> it just proves it's not about the gear. <laughs> well, sometimes it is. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Stupid! And I normally I put them in, I have it all set up and. Uh. Three quarter of an ounce um, lure weight. Uh, I'm gonna pause it here because I keep having planes flying friggin' over. So, guys, really, really, this is Rob. <laughs> Rob Light. You guys have seen him on the channel quite a few times. But he's literally the guy who started painting his Kalisas and killing it on the striper. Yeah. I'm happy to see everybody using it and killing it today. Oh yeah. I'm about to switch up and put it on myself. Shoot. Dang, this is deja vu. Wow! On the sand crab. There you go. Uh-huh. That's a nice fish. Uh -huh. The lure and grub guys aren't doing very good, but Wow, and that's a slab. That's a slab right there. We weren't prepared, no, to have this bluefin tuna. No, we weren't. What do I go for first? Ooh, just whatever you want. Oh, yeah. oh no! Go clockwise. He's gonna have the camera on me the whole time. <laughs> 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 whatever. I feel bad that Mario didn't hook into any. What is that? What is that, Leroy? The smoke trout. From yesterday? Yeah, yeah. This is stuff we caught yes me and Bob caught yesterday morning. Hear that guys, it's trout time. It's Kachuma Lake trout time. Bob got his boat tagged for Kachuma. We're gonna big things happening, guys. Yeah. <laughs> what look at Who's that next? delight. Yep. Look at this. Love, dude. Ooh, man. Let me let me just just yeah. Mm. Oh my that's epic. <laughs> 